obviously we know he's trying to make a statement at the Dev Awards by coming in a dress and uh, going along with um, his friends of the LGBTQ community. Hi friends, it's Brittany Valadez here for BravelyDaily.com. Well, today we're going to talk about the Dove Awards. Yes, the GMA Dove Awards happened last week and we have Derek Webb, if you've never heard of him, I'm going to tell you who he is, wearing a dress to the ceremony. Now, first of all, if you've never heard of the Dove Awards, they're basically like the Christian version of the Grammys. So you're thinking, wait, why is a man in a dress? Well, okay, you guys. So Derek Webb was a former singer of a band called Cademan's Call. And since then, he has been very much pro-LGBTQ, and he's been dressing in drag over and over again, kind of odd. And he is a straight man who is, well, okay, he's a straight man who wears dresses and um, he paints his nails. Here's what's interesting about Derek, though. Another interesting fun fact is he's actually a dating someone who used to be in the band I Am They. Remember their song, Scars? I love, love, love that song. So when I find out, when I found out that they were dating, I was like, yeah, so sad. And also as um, a female, why would you want to date a man who is like a female and paints his nails? I mean, okay, personally, me as a female, I have no interest in a feminine man, literally at all, like at all. A straight female as, I'm a straight female and I'm not interested in a guy who could be a girl. Why? Anyways. Okay, so here's here's the story. So I'm gonna show you a quick video. Maybe I'll just put it up to the camera. Derek Webb explained why he is wearing a dress to the Dove Awards. Why did I wear a dress to the Dove Awards? As a cis, straight, white man, I walk into a room like that and any room with an incredible amount of advantage and privilege. If I'm attending as an ally of friends and colleagues, I should do everything possible to surrender that privilege at the door. If the way you look at my loved ones isn't the way you look at me, I'm not truly standing with them. It's like Stan Mitchell says, if you claim to be someone's ally but aren't getting hit by the stones thrown at them, you aren't standing close enough. Plus, I have amazing legs. The amazing legs, maybe not, but hey, to each his own. Now, I do agree with the point of if you're gonna have an, if you're gonna be an ally to something to someone, stand with them, okay? But that's not my concern here. My more my concern is when we are claiming to be any sort of Christian and supporting things that are very anti-biblical. Trust me. Obviously, we know he is trying to make a statement at the Dove Awards by coming in a dress and uh, going along with um, his friends of the LGBTQ community. If you want to decide for yourself if Derek has great lakes, here's a photo. Let me know in the comments. Do you think he has great lakes? I don't know. Okay. You guys know that it's been very popular in the past couple of years for a lot of these people who have been leaving the Christian faith or just making, you know, changes to what they believe in, basically progressive Christians. What I see is yes, for some people, it can come from a place of hurt and question, but I think the root of a lot of it is pride. Pride that I know more or I'm better than. And a lot of times it comes from pride because it's saying that I know more than God and I'm no longer gonna submit to his word and his will. I'm gonna do what I feel is right and what I say, what I wanna do and what I think should be done. See what I'm getting at here? A place of pride. It's not a place of, hey, we know that true believers are going to come and submit to the will of God because it's not about us. It's not, we don't have all the answers. We didn't create the world. We don't get a say so in things. Like, we don't get a say so in telling God what to do. Okay, we can try. We have free will, but I guarantee you, God's will is always going to prevail. His final will is always going to prevail, and His word doesn't change. The Holy Spirit never contradicts the word of God. So, you know, it's a shame that we have, like, my heart hurts for Derek. My heart does. And he's in a place right now where he probably doesn't even really care if anybody's heart hurts for him because he's so into what he believes is truth that he is going to defend whatever it takes. You know, if he really loves his friends, like, like we see there, we think, wow, he must really love his friends. Well, if you really love your friends, you're going to care for their soul. When you're living in sexual sin, whether it's that sex outside of marriage, looking at pornography, um, anything, sending photos, or simply 
or somebody as practicing homosexuality. When we're living in that sexual sin and claiming it as our lifestyle and who we are, that becomes a problem with our soul. Will we go to heaven or hell when we die? If he truly cared for his friends, he would take the word of God seriously. Look at what it says about homosexuality, about um, pornography, like sexuality in general. Okay, when I say pornography, it's under the guise of what, you know, sexual acts and sexual things that are sexual immorality that are against the will of God. He would say, look, my friends aren't walking according to the will of God. I really, really care for their soul. That's me loving them. I'm going to gently lead them that way. You know, friends, it's really sad when we see the decay of society, but what should we expect? Look at the world we live in. And the Bible tells us it's only going to get worse before it gets better. And actually in the picture, I think it was uh, one of these, I noticed a comment from, oh yes, singer Plum, who has also pretty much gone the route of progressive Christianity. She said on the picture of the three friends, lead the way in helping space to be made for all. Love to each of you. And my last comment, you guys remember in the video, he opened it up by letting us know he's a white cisgender male with privilege. First of all, sir, I don't care about your race. Okay. Um, I love what Ben Shapiro said. The only privilege there is is American privilege. Everybody out there who is in, everybody who lives in America, like the U.S., we have so much privilege. And did you look around you at the Dove Awards? There's a lot of Black people there. And please. Um, those black people that were there also have privilege because they're there with you uh, winning awards. Well, that's just my thoughts. But anyways, so what are your guys' thoughts on this whole situation? You know, as I'm going through his like Instagram account, I just see so many pictures of him wearing drag, like good for you. All right, friends. So what are your thoughts on this whole Derek Webb situation? Do you support him? Why or why not? You know, I got to give him credit though. He went all in for his beliefs. How many of us could go all in for the gospel? All right, let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm Brittany Valadez for BravelyDaily.com. God bless and up. See you in the next one.